Good morning, my fellow Americans. I am so proud to have the honor to address you on the radio today. I can report that the first few days of the McCain-Palin administration have been exciting to say the least. Because of the national security requirements, Sarah is sharing the presidential suite with me, while my lovely wife Cindy and now second dude, Todd, are down the hall. As I've repeatedly told Cindy, it is in hers and the nation's interest that we sleep in the same room in light of the impending conflict with Russia. Sarah and I have been staying up late into the night, ensuring that every detail of the conflict has been covered. Although the economy has seen some very tough times in the past few months, I'm happy to report that the Dow Industrial has just hit triple digits and keeps on climbing back towards a historic 1,000-point mark. I am also happy to report the first wave of arrests in the urban uprisings that occurred when false and misleading reports of voter fraud caused a suspension of the general election. As the second president appointed by the Supreme Court, I hope to live up to the power they have vested in me. Also, another reason that Sarah Palin and I need to share the same bed. She does her best energy work while lying down. I've told Cindy, and now I'm telling you. Let me assure you, the states of this union that are in the process of secession are in violation of the Constitution of the United States of America. The leader of this secession movement, Barack Obama, is hiding somewhere near the Ozark Mountains, near the border of West Virginia and Virginia, and the hunt is on. Vice President Palin is currently in a helicopter, flying over the Ozarks with a high-caliber rifle. She's practiced on wolves, but she's ready for the real thing. I look forward to working with the members of Congress who are not under house arrest. I look forward to deregulating everything until there's nothing to regulate anymore. I will be putting forth a resolution to reinvade Vietnam and finish the job we started over 40 years ago. I will ask the Congress to approve legislation that will require Cindy McCain to stay 80 feet away from me at all times. I look forward to the next four years, even though I can't really remember the last four minutes. God bless America and cookies.